Hello everyone, Johnny here. Today in this session, we will try to learn about how to create an animated web page for Diwali. Like I want to use the images and I want to apply the properties of CSS box model, animations, transform and positions. We will try to use only these four properties of CSS and we will try to implement this animated web page. So let me check. This is the final output. So let us start. Let me take a container here. I'm trying to take a container class equals to container. The class name is container here. And uh, in this container, uh, I want to apply the CSS for it. So I'm not taking external CSS. We are taking only internal CSS here that is embedded CSS. Let me take the container name. Let me put height for it. Let me put height and width properties for this. Width 100% the complete page. Min height. Let me take of 100vh. Next, I want to use a background image here. URL images. As I have already taken the image, d.jpg. Let us check the output of this snippet. So this is the first one. We can just open in the browser. So we got a background image now. We got a background image. Now for this background image, I should be able to take uh, three more images. That I should be able to get first image, second image, and third image. So in order to get this, uh, we can use Z index property. Any of the properties which you are aware of. But I'm trying to use positions here. And let me take the first image. Image SRC equals to uh, the image name is images. In this, I have o dot png. I have o dot png, and I just want to apply some properties for it. So I'm trying to write a class here. Av. Av. So let us see. We got an image here, but I should be able to get this image to the center, and it should be able to rotate also. For this, I'm trying to write the CSS. Let me write the CSS part. Av. We can also use the flex properties for this. Most advanced properties would be a flex if you use display block margin margin left auto margin right auto. If I want to get the center of center of the page, I am trying to use this and width would be up. I would like to take a fifty percentage. Fifty percentage. Next one. Uh, let us see first you can see to the center of the page but I want this one to rotate I want this in the format of rotating so I'm trying to use a property of animation here animation and uh, animation name is rotation we can also use different properties like animation name animation duration animation uh, all these things like ease in ease out all the properties but I'm trying to write with the same line here infinite and linear but I want to make sure that this image should have some seconds of time. So I'm trying to take six seconds. But if you write this, we won't get any output because we should add a keyframes for this. Iterate keyframes. Whatever the name we have mentioned in the animation name, the same animation name we should be able to write it here. Rotation. Inside this rotation, first I want to write from from transform rotate rotate 0 degrees to transform rotate some uh, I'm just writing some uh, degrees normally like you can also based on your web page layout images you can just change it out let me refresh this can you see the image is rotating Based upon the seconds, what we have mentioned, it is trying to rotate. It is uh, rotating infinite times. So it will try to repeat it. And we are trying to use an animation mode called linear here. Next, I would like to use the next image. I would like to use the next image here. So in order to take the next image, I am trying to write IMG. So let me put out all the images at once. I am trying to take next image. 
img images so in this and the image name is o and i just want to save this changes class name pc so can you see here the image i got it here i got somewhere down i want to overlap on this i just want to overlap on this we can use z index we can use flex properties but i am trying to use here only the positions we are dealing with positions here the class name is second sorry what is the class name we have taken here bc sorry the class name is bc here position absolute top i just want to have 110 pixel left would be some uh, let me take some roughly 455 pixel height would be 450 pixel width would be 450 pixel let me take 450 pixel and uh, for this let us check the output first we got to the center we got to the center but i want to make sure this image also should also able to rotate so can can't we write this property same property yes i am trying to use the same property here but make sure that you should change the animation name here i am trying to write rota so i am trying to use the same keyframes property see as it is rotating from clockwise direction i want to make this in the anti clockwise so i just want to write the properties in the reverse order nothing more so here if we can see this property oh somewhere we have missed yes rotate now we got two images which are rotating in clockwise and anti-clockwise direction but to the center of this i need uh, the goddesses so for this i will write the properties like this i will take the last image image src equals to images forward slash god dot png and i won't write this class name as second second class uh, second see here i got goddesses i just wanted this to the top so for this i'm trying to write the properties second uh, let me write position absolute uh, top would be of 150 pixel left would be of 500 pixel let me write around uh, 510 pixel height would be uh, let me write 350 pixel and 350 pixel equal 800 so let we can change it based upon the page yes let us i got to the center so can you see that we got the same output how we got but see here it is uh, the circle here it is rotating too fast whereas it is here it is too slow in order to get this thing also we can just change the properties like i have written six here so let us write two here then you can see the circle is rotating here we have been using the properties of animation transform css positions and the box model properties and next one if i want to get some text i want to get some animated text here to the left hand side i need a uh, like happy diwali in order to get this i am trying to use something called google fonts let me use some google fonts or predefined one in this google fonts let me choose this one okay it's fine i will choose this select text in this sorry mm, okay I'm just trying to choose this select select text mm -hmm. and I'm trying to import these properties. So you can just use in the header part. And uh, what are the body it has? I should be able to get these properties. So I'm trying to write uh, body. Sorry, it's body. Inside this body, I should be able to get this font value. So let me copy this. Then now uh, I should be able to get some text here. I just want it as Happy Diwali. I just want it as Happy Diwali here. So we didn't get anything. We got to the bottom of the page. So here we got 
I just want to get here itself. So let me write the properties for this paragraph, right? P. So we can call it as an element selector. In this font size, let me write 80 pixel. Uh, instead of left, uh, let me write top 400 pixel. Uh, it's better to use this properties. Uh, let me write 90 pixel. Color white. You can use hexadecimal notation also. Position absolute. But when you see this, uh, you got happy Diwali here. But when you see this output, you can see some animation is about to perform here. But for this, we don't have any animation. In order to perform this animation, we have used Google Fonts for the font for this font in order to get this font and uh, animate.css. Let me open animate.css. We have a predefined uh, properties, so I'm trying to use this external uh, external animate animation.css file here. I'm trying to include in my file and uh, here uh, in order to get some bounce effect for example see I just want to get some bounce effect we can use add this property I'm just trying to use a basic property of animate bounce bounce in the sense the text will jump so let me include it here now we no need to write any part of CSS here just we can write class equals to so these properties will be defined in this uh, what do we say in this URL let me uh, show you how it will be written like if you can copy this and uh, if you can open in the browser you will find control f bounce so can you see here the property bounce it has already the properties predefined in this animate.css so i'm trying to use or else or we have written here in our own way like uh, in this just let me save this okay it got struck okay done now let me close this also let me refresh can you see here we got the same output what we were uh, expecting so this is how we have done with a basic animation of uh, landing page basic animation for the beginners using this uh, css properties and we have used google fonts and animate css so if you have any queries in this you can just comment below this video in the description part you will find the complete javascript tutorials and the projects thank you